Welcome yogis, my name is Sarah and today we'll be flowing through a yoga sequence to create space in the body and calm the mind. We'll be getting started today in Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly pose. So come to your back, soles of the feet together, knees fall out wide. You can always put blocks or pillows under your knees if this is too much of a stretch for you. Perhaps you bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. Just settle in here. Feel the ground beneath you. Feel your torso move as you breathe in and out. Let's take a couple breaths here together. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Again, inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Perhaps begin to count your inhales and exhales. You can also make this tactile by pressing into each finger on your count. Today we'll be moving through several sequences where we will flow sinking breath to movement, using affirmations to help us go inward. Repeat to yourself, I am here, I am safe, I am supported. I am here, I am safe, I am supported. Take a few more breaths here. Reach down with your hands and help guide your knees in back to center before gently rolling over to your side in the fetal position. You can use your bicep as a pillow. Take a breath here, feeling the earth beneath you, supporting you. Push into your hands to come up to a comfortable seat. We'll take our first flow sinking breath to movement. On your next inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up and over, side stretch. Inhale back to center. Exhale, right hand down, left hand up and over. Inhale to center. Exhale, back over to the other side once more. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. Hands come to heart center. And find your way into tabletop pose, hands and knees. Once you arrive, make sure your hips are over your knees and start to walk your hands forward. We're gonna come into our puppy stretch. Hands forward, chest melts toward the earth, forehead or chin on the mat. Feel the opening through your chest and your shoulders.
on your next inhale, push into the hands and come up to kneeling. If you need some more padding for your knees, you can always use a blanket or double up your mat like what I'm doing here. Gate pose, stretch your right leg long out to the side. Stretch your right hand down that right leg and reach up and over with your left arm, left bicep by your ear. Now exhale, bring that left hand all the way down to the mat and extend your right hand up and overhead. Inhale, back into gate pose, left hand lifts. Exhale, left hand plants, right hand lifts. Inhale back to center and we'll flow that breath sequence on the other side. This time extend your left leg along out to the side. Left hand comes down your left leg as you inhale reach up and over with your right arm. Exhale right hand plants all the way down on the mat left hand overhead long side body stretch. Inhale, back to gate pose, right hand lifts. Once more, exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. And exhale, come. Find your way into tabletop hands and knees. From here, we'll move through one round of cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, round in. Return to a neutral spine, walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, and lift your hips up and back to our first downward facing dog. Strong through the arms, straight through the back. You can bend the knees here if you need, maybe pedal the feet, bending into one knee and then the other. Find stillness in your down dog, take a breath, and then begin to look forward and start to walk your feet to meet your hands at the top of the mat. When you arrive, keep your feet separated about hip width distance and fold. Maybe grab onto opposite elbows, rock a bit side to side. Breathe here. Go ahead and release the hands and begin to slowly roll up to standing. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Feel the earth beneath your feet and remind yourself, I am here. I am safe. I am supported. On your next inhale, reach the arms up to the sky and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot all the way back, lower the knee. Make sure your left knee is over your left ankle and come up into low lunge. Feel the stretch through your hips. Begin to look up and maybe take a mini back bend here. Exhale, release the hands, shift the hips back and straighten through the front knee, coming into half splits. Hands in line with the knee. Inhale, flat back and exhale, fold over that front knee. Begin to slowly walk your hands back forward, lift through the back knee and come up into high lunge, arms lift. Spin the back heel down, almost parallel to the short edge of the mat, open the arms up wide, warrior two. 
We'll breath flow here. Inhale, straighten through the front knee. Left hand reaches to the sky, reverse triangle. Exhale, bend through the knee, warrior two. Again, inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through the knee. And exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Now keep that left leg straight and bring your arms back parallel. We'll move into triangle from here. Left hand down your left leg, right hand lifts to the sky. Look up if that works for your neck. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot and step back, downward facing dog. Ground down through your hands and your feet and take a few deep breaths here. Begin to look forward and walk your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the hands up and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Step your left foot back this time. Lower the left knee. Make sure the right knee is stacked over the right ankle and reach the hands up for your low lunge. Look up and maybe take a slight back bend here. Lift the chest. Exhale, frame your front foot. Start to shift the hips back, straighten through the front leg for your half splits. Inhale, lift the heart, straighten the back, and exhale, fold over your front leg. Begin to walk your hands to frame your front foot, lift through the back knee, and come up into your high lunge, arms lift. Spin the back heel down and open up into your warrior two, deep bend into the front knee. Inhale, straighten through the front knee, lift up, reverse triangle, Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Bring your hands back parallel and we'll shift into triangle pose from here, Trikonasana. Bring your right hand to your right shin and lift your left arm up to the sky. You can look up or down, depending on what works for your neck today. Bring both hands down to frame your front foot. Step back into your downward facing dog. We're going to come into dolphin pose next, so keeping your hips lifted, bring your elbows down to the mat, forearms parallel, and grounding into the earth, and begin to walk your feet in toward your chest. Feel the earth supporting you under your forearms, under your feet, and continue to breathe here.
take one more breath and slowly lower the knees. Sit the hips back into child's pose. You can swing your arms back along your sides. Exhaling out any tension and feeling your forehead fully supported by the earth. Take one more breath here. And begin to look forward, bring your hands forward and push yourself up and back into downward facing dog. Look forward and begin to walk your feet to the top of the mat. Slowly roll up to stand and we'll come into tree pose. You can stay facing the front of the mat. I turn to the side here to face you for this pose. Tree pose, ground into your left foot. Bring the sole of your right foot to your calf or maybe your inner thigh. Keep guiding that right knee to open. Maybe your hands stay at heart center. Maybe they reach up above you. You can test your balance here by looking up or maybe closing your eyes. Breathe. Exhale your arms back down to heart center. And go ahead and release that foot. We'll move to the other side. Now root down through your right foot and bring your left foot wherever you had it on the other side. Your hands can stay at heart center or maybe you try a different arm variation this time. Breathe here. Exhale your hands back to heart center and release your foot. Inhale, root to rise, hands lift, exhale fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale fold. Go ahead and step both feet back into plank. Lower the knees and come all the way down to your stomach. Keep your hands where they are as you root down into all ten toes and lift your chest for low cobra. Exhale, release. Hands by your sides, left ear to the mat, gaze right. Bring your chin back to center, locust pose. Palms face down. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the crown of the head off the mat, lift the arms, and if your low back feels okay, lift your legs as well. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Right ear to the mat, look left. Inhale your chin back to center. You can take the same locust pose again, or we'll move into floor bow. Start to bend through the knees, capture the outside edges of your feet. And on your next inhale, kick into your hands to lift your chest, lift your crown, and lift your knees off the mat. Exhale, release. Push yourself back so you're sitting on your heels, knees to touch, rabbit pose, 
bring your hands back towards your heels. Inhale and exhale, begin to fold forward with a flat back, bringing the crown of your head to the mat right by your knees. Inhale, begin to pull on your heels as you lift your hips up to the sky and roll to the crown of your head. Exhale, release. Take a breath here in child's pose. Inhale, push yourself up to seated. Extend your left leg long out in front of you and bring the sole of your right foot to the inner edge of your left thigh. We'll take a twist, left hand to the right knee, right arm up and over, stretching toward that extended leg. Now plant the right hand behind you and push into your knee and foot to lift your hips and extend the left hand up and over, opening the heart and looking toward that left hand. Exhale, release. Center yourself over your extended leg and inhale, lift the arms and exhale, fold over that left leg. Breathe. Exhale, release. We'll move to the other side. Extend your right leg long out in front of you and bring your left foot to the inner edge of your right thigh. Bring your right hand to your left knee and your left arm up and over, stretching toward that extended leg in a twist. Now plant that left hand behind you Push into your knee and foot to lift your hips and extend your right hand up and over. Look up at your right hand. Exhale, release. Center yourself over your extended leg. Inhale, lift the arms and exhale, fold over that right leg. Release, and we'll slowly make our way down all the way onto our backs. When you arrive, keep your knees bent and the soles of your feet on the mat. Bring them a bit closer to your hips. We'll move into bridge pose. Inhale, push into the feet. Begin to lift your hips off the mat. And exhale, release. Again, inhale, lift the hips, and exhale, release. Once more, inhale, hips lift, and exhale, release. Bring both knees in and give yourself a little squeeze. We'll end today with a spinal twist. Keep your right knee in as you extend your left leg long. Squeeze it in and then guide the knee over to the left. Right arm extends out. Maybe you look over your right shoulder.
Inhale back to center, bring both knees in. We'll move to the other side. This time, keep your left knee in as you extend your right leg long. Inhale and exhale. Guide that left knee over to the right. Open up through your left arm and maybe look left. Inhale back to center, bring both knees in and give yourself one final squeeze. From here, we'll come into our final resting pose. Extend your legs out long, arms out wide, palms face up. Maybe you close your eyes here or have a soft gaze. Relax your jaw, your forehead, your shoulders. Let's take a few cleansing breaths here together. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Once more, perhaps the biggest breath you've taken all day. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Nothing to do here, but give yourself the gift of stillness. I invite you to stay here in this resting pose for as long as your day allows. If you're ready to return to your day, start to wiggle through the fingers and through the toes. Perhaps start to draw some circles with the ankles and the wrists. Start to bring your hands to reach up overhead, long full body stretch all the way through the toes to the tips of the fingers and exhale, roll over into the fetal position using your bicep as a pillow. I am here, I am safe, I am supported. Begin to push into your hands to come up to a comfortable seat. When you arrive, bring your hands to heart center and just check in 
with how you feel now versus how you felt at the beginning of class. Inhale and exhale. Gently bow your forehead to your hands in gratitude to yourself for taking this time today. Thank you for joining me, yogis. Namaste.